there's an insert of you in the middle of the film in which you tell us that when you were afraid, they would come to you and say, close your eyes, that everything bad will go away. And right after, you get into the subject of AIDS, or as it was said at the time, gay cancer. What was behind this decision? Oh, I think there are many reasons for that decision, I think. First, when we decided to uh, let my story in the film, first, that was a big decision that it took us a very long time to make you know, to decide whether we would leave the personal side or not. So we even did like two versions at the time, like one without me at all, like all together, no Tatiana, no personal side, and the other one with the personal side. And because we didn't want uh, that to be more important than the story. We didn't want the film to be about Tatiana. It's not about Tatiana, it's not about Tatiana's father, it's about the group. Uh, Tatiana is just, the way of maybe connecting the dots in the story. It's just to validate also why that story is being told, because it comes from a memory of a child, and I think it brings an innocence, and um, it becomes a film of author sometime, somehow. Uh, it gives to the public uh, a personal connection. I think everybody had a father, uh, everybody has a father, and uh, everybody can connect to that feeling of also a childhood memory, and so we showed those versions to a few people beforehand and they got so much more emotional when uh, the personal side was in the picture. So we decided to take the risk, which was a big risk, you know, could be tacky, could be too much, uh, it could uh, bring, uh, take more attention than the group. So the first decision was to leave a little bit at the beginning, like to introduce why that story is being told because a child used to grow up around them and the child brings now three years later that emotional side. And we had to bring back the middle again so people would not forget because if it would only at the beginning and the end, when it comes at the end, we did that actually. The first cut was like that, beginning and end. And then people at the end was like, what? What happened? They, they forgot, you know, the beginning. So we felt the need to put a little bit in the middle and uh, in the original version that is in, in theaters in Brazil now, there is even a, a chapter explaining who was the father, who my father was, and, and uh, backstage and doing the, the set designer and stuff. So we felt the need also to explain who my father was a little bit, just you know, people to understand that I was not a daughter of one of them or, or Marquito, because when we talk about AIDS too, we bring up another character that was the, the um, clothes designer Marquito, that was, uh, you know, huge uh, designer of the stars in the 80s and, and that died of AIDS. And that was something that we found out also during, during the shootings because we had no idea, I had no idea. You know, AIDS was always part of everybody's life. They're 30 years or younger, that's part of, we hear that every day in the news. So I had no idea, I didn't remember as a child the first time that I ever heard AIDS. I think it was in Cazuza maybe, a little bit later that I realized as a teenager, okay, you know, somebody that I liked died of that disease. But we found out interviewing everyone, and the version that you saw yesterday, we see only, you see only two people talking about Marquito, but the original version, every single one say Marquito. Every single one. The question was, when was the first time you ever heard of AIDS? Every single one. The 45 people besides Liza Minnelli that we interviewed, answer absolutely the same answer marquito so we realized okay we have to put that in the film we have to show people that you know who marquito was a little bit so we introduced very quickly marquito as being the first time you know the first person that everybody in the theater or art scene uh, heard of AIDS for the first time or gay cancer at the time. So of course AIDS is a, a delicate subject and it's part of the group because we lost four members with AIDS and for me as well because I lost my father as well. So that of course then I, I think maybe that's why I put that in beforehand is to prepare the audience for what's coming you know which is the you know sad part and which the people go away and, and it's prepared the connection for the end of the film.